so. right now a Fox News alert right outside of Columbia University. It looks like the police have had enough and they're making arrests right now. Uh, they decided that they were going to block and obstruct uh, the traffic right there on the sidewalk. They didn't have a permit to be protesting there. Right. It'll be interesting to see what the charges are going to be. Well, hope they, and, they and, need a few days in jail, I hope. And you can see it, screen left right there, uh, one of those bike racks, they call them here in New York City. That is uh, the structure. As you can see right there, they've made essentially a box where the protesters were supposed to be. And that is where they were the night before, where, as you can see, they, they had the fire. The reason they were not on campus is because the president of Columbia was on campus, rather in Washington, D.C., yesterday, saying, essentially, uh, we're cracking down on this. So what do they do? They step off campus. They light the fire. They light the torch. They, they have the big protest. Now, this morning, somebody's being arrested. Looks like, it looks like Gaza. Yeah. And, but it's New York City. What a great and, and, city and this is. We don't believe what they say. We don't believe We don't believe this. They have been very clear what they believe. You got one professor said that the warriors, the resistant fighters that were in Hamas, numbered less than 1,500. And look how they flipped the table. Not only on settler colonial state, but with no definable borders, but rather the whole world. You don't need mass movements to change the world. So there, there's radical statements from these professors, from these students, and it looks like the cops are finally shutting this down. And they're more than... What, what y'all say? 4,000 students 4, that are 4,700 that are Jewish that go to school at Columbia, and the ones that we've interviewed say that they are scared. Well, as soon as we figure out what the people are being charged with and who the people are, we will bring that to you right here on Fox. But in New York, they can just arrest you without charging you, uh, as Donald Trump. Uh, New York City subways, uh, there was an Instagram account, have these uh, people have taken over subways last night saying uh, some type of chant, we're proud of Iran, yeah. Iran, we're proud of you, Yemen, we are proud of you, and these Jewish students taped it, and it's, and it's on Instagram. It's right important now. to note, as we looked at the live shots, there's two different groups that are on the campus right now. You got the campus uh, with, where, where you see the tents that are actually on campus. Those are students because it's a private institution. The Gaza Inn campus. The, the Gaza Inn. That's where they're having their little Chaz zone, uh, the pro Hamas group. Then outdoors, these are the non students. They can't get on campus. They were the ones that were setting the fire, and that's why the cops are moving in on them right now. It looks like they were doing this all night long. They were met by some counter protesters that were waving the Israeli yeah, flags last night, too. We didn't have to get early to do a, have a job. It really helps uh, to be able to party through uh, the night. Somebody's talking to the cop right there, has a problem with being taken downtown. We'll keep you posted on that. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.